trying to jam a partisan version of that that was more corporate uh, than worker. Well, it really was. And I, the fact that Mitch McConnell had the nerve to go on the Senate floor and scream at the top of his lungs uh, about trying to push through a bill that would allow stock buybacks from the biggest multinational corporations on the planet who used all of their Trump tax cuts to buy back stocks or the overwhelming majority of it is 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 really it's really it's very sad at this moment. And Mika, the same thing with that slush fund, mm -hmm. a 500 billion dollar slush fund that he was going to give to Donald Trump to, to pass the money around any way he liked. We, we know how that would have ended um, now because actually some people uh, held held the line. Uh, we're going to have. Uh, uh, five people overlooking it, a bipartisan task force overlooking it to make sure that businesses that really need the money, small businesses that really need the money, uh, actually get the money. And there's not going to be a slush fund. There aren't going to be stock buybacks. Uh, and the difference between what Mitch McConnell was screaming about and what happened at the end uh, is a huge, huge difference, which is actually going to help this economy uh, much more than the Mitch McConnell plan to just to throw a slush fund at the problem. One other thing, really, too, we can't say it enough. Uh, Republicans like Liz Cheney uh, uh, come out and said what we've been saying here, which is the, the economic crisis continues as long as there's a health care crisis. You right. can't rush a pandemic. A pandemic has its own timeline. Your job is to shorten that timeline, get past it, and then start working. Start working on getting people back to work. Yeah. Well, yesterday uh, we saw on stage at the coronavirus update uh, the president talking for quite some time about money and about the economy and about Easter. Then his top scientists, Dr. Birx and uh, Dr. Fauci, talking for a very short period of time, trying to debunk his timeline without getting fired. This is, at, at this point, what I could read from their facial expressions, that they well, were trying their best to tell the truth without getting fired. And there was this disturbing moment where Dr. Fauci backed up, finished his remarks, and stood next to the president and looked at him. And there was a, a, a look of concern in his face that perhaps the president did not like what he was saying. And I saw in the Fox town hall Dr. Burke's talking and the president literally rolling his eyes and acting like a stubborn, spoiled little five year old, really anxious for her to, to stop speaking because he doesn't want their information to scare Americans from going back to work. That's the logic that's playing out on stage. Well, Anybody want to question it at yeah, this point? I, I actually, uh, first of all, Dr. Fauci has said that he doesn't want people in the media trying to separate him from the president. And I think it's in everybody's best interest that Dr. Fauci, Dr. Burt, uh, these other doctors remain on that task force. For but sure. There is, though, there is, there's no doubt, there is a tension that we have to recognize here, Yamish, and that tension is uh, between businesses, small businesses who are suffering uh, so badly, businesses that are going to go out of business uh, because of this unprecedented economic crisis, and, of course, the pandemic. Healthcare officials are scared to death uh, at, at the pandemic that's coming. But then again, so so are small business owners and big business owners and mid-sized business owners. There definitely is a split right now. There is a balance that has to be uh, be at least thought through. But there is no doubt that there's a there is a tension uh, between the health experts and the economic experts. But